As 2023 turns into 2024 and we celebrate another successful revolution around the sun, it's important to remember that history doesn't stop just because the dates have changed. Things we experienced in 2022 affected us throughout this past year, and the same will be true for the upcoming year. With that being said, here is a list of the top 23 events from 2023 that will go down in history. Number 23, Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard. Completing a process initially started in 2022, Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard for $69 billion, making it by far Microsoft's largest acquisition ever, as well as the largest acquisition in gaming history. This also makes Microsoft the third largest game company in the world, after Tencent and Sony, giving them unprecedented influence in developing and publishing video games, especially mobile games. The US Federal Trade Commission attempted to block the acquisition on the grounds it would suppress competition but lost its initial legal battle in July, though the FTC has continued to fight the merger even after the UK and EU signed off on the deal. Number 22. King Charles III is coronated. Following the death of the long-lived monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, in 2022, the crown was to be passed on to the heir, her eldest son, Charles. The coronation of Charles was set to take place in May of 2023, just under 70 years after the coronation of Elizabeth II. While much of the deeply religious nature of the event stayed largely the same as it has for many coronations, there were some major differences, such as an acknowledgement of the religiously diverse nature of the modern UK, as well as having an oath for all UK citizens to pledge to Charles while watching the televised event. Number 21. Javier Millet becomes President of Argentina. In November of 2023, a runoff election in the Argentinian presidential election saw the right-wing populist beat out Minister of Economy Sergio Massa by 11 points. A self-proclaimed anarcho-capitalist and styling himself similarly to US libertarians, Malay has promised large economic change. He has vowed to significantly cut down the size of the Argentine government, particularly in public services such as health and education. The election of Malay is being compared to the election of Donald Trump in 2016, as being less about the candidate specifically and more of a protest vote about the current state of the country and the direction in which it was headed. Number 20. Twitter is rebranded as X. Following Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter in 2022 for $44 billion, the social media site has seen many changes that have significantly altered its landscape changes that led to many advertisers to pull away from the site. One such change was its rebranding as X in July of 2023, with many criticizing the change as having destroyed years of brand recognition that had been built up. The change is also being noted as being in line with Musk's fascination with naming services and websites after the letter X. The change also coincided with an attempt to change the signage being used on the San Francisco headquarters, leading to the city requiring the sign be taken down for not being properly permitted after a weekend of it being up. Number 19. The United Auto Workers Strike in the U.S. In September of 2023, the United Auto Workers Union began its strike against the Detroit 3, Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler-owned Stellantis. As the market for cars slowly shifts towards electric vehicles, Unionized workers became worried about the effect it may have on their jobs, along with stagnating wages and concessions made since the 2008 financial crisis. The organized labor movement eventually saw nearly 50,000 UAW members striking, netting them greater pay protections, job protections, and pensions. Number 18. Hollywood Strikes Starting with the Writers Guild of America declaring a strike in May of 2023, followed by the Screen Actors Guild announcing a strike in July of 2023, much of the entertainment industry in South California was shut down for much of the year as writers and actors demanded more fair pay models in the age of streaming, as well as assurances of job protection as AI becomes more prominent in national and international economies. Eventually, the Writers Guild reached an agreement in September and voted 99% in favor of the agreement in October. An agreement was similarly reached by SAG-AFTRA in November, though the vote was only 78% in favor as concerns about insufficient protections against using AI-generated likenesses remained prevalent among many voting members. Number 17. 
2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. The 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup was jointly held between Australia and New Zealand and saw Spain's women's team win its first title after beating England in the final match. The historic victory was marred, however, when the president of Spain's soccer governing body, Luis Rubiales, kissed Spanish midfielder Jenny Hermoso during the medal ceremony, leading to criminal charges and sanctions by FIFA along with him resigning from his position. Controversy aside, the World Cup demonstrated the rising popularity of women's soccer as more nations than ever competed in this World Cup, and US dominance in the sport was clearly challenged after their stunningly early knockout. Number 16. Expulsion of George Santos from US Congress US Representative from New York George Santos was expelled from Congress following a litany of accusations that he had fabricated stories about himself to get elected as well as a wide variety of campaign financial malfeasance, for which he faces various criminal charges. This led to 100 members of his own party, the Republicans, to join a nearly unanimous Democratic bloc in expelling Santos from his position, making him only the sixth person to have ever been expelled from the United States Congress by a congressional vote. Number 15. Assassination Plot Against Sikh Leaders 2023 saw a plot partially unfold and partially be foiled to kill various Sikh leaders across the US and Canada. In Canada, one such leader and Sikh separatist, Hardeep Singh Nijar, was killed in June by a masked gunman. Afterwards, an elaborate plot was revealed to the public that allegedly wove all the way into the Indian government leading the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to accuse the Indian government of being directly linked to the murder, severely straining relations between the two nations. The US for its part managed to uncover and foil planned killings in its borders through an undercover agent posing as one of the hired hitmen for the plot. Number 14. Proud Boys leader convicted for role in January 6th insurrection. Enrique Tarrio, former chairman of the Proud Boys, was found guilty of various charges surrounding the January 6th Capitol building insurrection, including seditious conspiracy and obstruction of Congress. Though he was not at the Capitol himself as he had been arrested for stealing and destroying a Black Lives Matter banner, it was found that he directed his followers to participate in the insurrection without him. Ultimately, he was sentenced to 22 years in prison, less than what federal prosecutors had been pushing for by over a decade but still the longest sentence thus far of anyone convicted for their role in the insurrection. Number 13, Xi Jinping re-elected for third term as President of the People's Republic of China. Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China and General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, was re-elected as President for a historic third term in March of 2023. This is following his re-election as General Secretary in October of 2022 breaking the tradition of the General Secretary ceding power after a decade. This also follows the abolition of presidential term limits in 2018. This move has led to many critics outside China to describe him as the most powerful Chinese leader since Mao Zedong. Number 12. World Health Organization Declares End of COVID-19 Emergency in May of 2023, the World Health Organization announced that it was ending the global emergency status for COVID-19 after three years. It was clarified that this did not mean that COVID was over as a global threat, but merely that it was not as dire of a situation as the weekly number of deaths, which had been over 100,000 at its peak in January of 2021, had dropped to 3,500 a week in April of 2023 as vaccinations and treatment options became more widely available. Number 11. U.S. Struggles with Speaker of the House In the beginning of January, following the opening of the 118th United States Congress, House Republicans attempted to elect a Speaker of the House from their ranks. However, the primary nominee, Kevin McCarthy, found numerous roadblocks as the further right-wing elements of his party continuously foiled his election voting for other members, preventing McCarthy from achieving the majority required to win. This process was drawn out through 15 separate votes, something that hadn't happened to this degree since the Civil War. McCarthy's tenure was short-lived though, as he became the first speaker in American history to be removed by a motion to vacate in October after only nine months. This led to further chaos as House Republicans struggled to find a replacement, eventually settling 
on Mike Johnson from Louisiana after over three weeks of Patrick McHenry's interim speakership. Number 10. India successfully lands rover on the moon. In September of 2023, the unmanned Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft, launched by the Indian Space Research Organization, touched down on the lunar surface, making India the fourth nation after the US, China, and former Soviet Union to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon, as well as the first to land on the lunar south pole. It was set to run for two weeks, performing experiments on the moon's surface and set the stage for further space missions from India including an indeterminately dated manned mission to the moon. Number 9. Derna Dams Collapse in Libya Following heavy rain from Storm Daniel, two dams located in Derna, Libya collapsed, killing and injuring thousands, with Libya Red Crescent reports putting the number at around 11,000 killed and 10,000 missing, and the UN putting the numbers at 4,000 killed and 9,000 missing. This tragedy came after decades of neglected maintenance and untouched damage, and a report in 2021 by the state of Libya that said more than $2 million which had been allocated to fix the two dams over a decade ago were not used for that purpose. With the scale of destruction following this disaster, the Derna dams collapsing as the second deadliest dam failure in history, following the 1975 Banqiao Dam failure in China. Number 8. Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan Arrested and Convicted In August of 2023, former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan was arrested and convicted for illegally selling state gifts during his four years as Prime Minister between 2018 and 2022. He was also charged with publicizing a confidential cable sent from the Pakistani ambassador to the US for the purposes of political gain. Khan has alleged his removal from his prime ministership in 2022 was at the behest of the United States, pushing the Pakistani military to do so as he had met with the Russian government shortly before it began its invasion of Ukraine in February, something both the US and Pakistan military deny. Khan's party maintained his innocence, demanding that he be released. Number 7. Earthquakes Hit Turkey and Syria In February of 2023, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit the region around southeastern Turkey and northern Syria, additionally rocking the area with many more aftershocks in the following days, leaving as many as 55,000 people dead across the two nations and injuring another 100,000. It's estimated that as many as 17 million people were directly and severely affected by the quakes, as many of the affected buildings simply pancaked at the onset of the shaking. This was designated as one of the worst earthquakes to hit the region in history and the worst of its kind in a very long time, with the last time Turkey having experienced a 7.8 magnitude earthquake being in 1939. This earthquake, which occurred along the Anatolian and Arabian plates, is the fifth deadliest earthquake in human history, surpassed only by the earthquakes in Haiti in 2010, a tsunami caused by an earthquake in Indonesia in 2004, China in 2008, in Pakistan in 2005. Number 6. Bolsonaro supporters storm Brazilian government buildings. Right as the new year turned in 2023, and almost exactly two years after the US Capitol building was stormed by Trump supporters, supporters of the far-right former Brazilian president Jair Bolsonaro stormed various government buildings in the nation's capital of Brasilia, including the Presidential Palace, Congress, and Supreme Court. This followed unsuccessful attempts by security forces to disperse the demonstrating crowd using tear gas as the demonstrators overwhelmed those security forces. It's estimated that around 3,000 people were involved in the incident, all of whom were quickly condemned by the recently inaugurated President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Following this, hundreds of the rioters were arrested and the authorities managed to restore control of the Capitol buildings hours after the incident began. Number 5. Coup in Niger. In late July of 2023, the Nigerian military declared that it had dissolved the nation's constitution, suspended all institutions, and closed the country's borders, removing President Mohamed Bazoum from office. The coup had taken particular aim at France, the former colonial occupier of the nation, and who still possessed a significant amount of economic and military power within the country. 
French military and diplomatic services had been expelled from the nation as Emmanuel Macron condemned the coup and announced his support for the ousted Bazou. Tensions also threatened to spill over as much of ECOWAS, an alliance of West African nations, activated standby forces in preparation for a potential armed intervention to restore the president and remove the military junta. This all follows Mali's decision to pivot away from centering France as its main defense partner in the region and instead work with the Russian Wagner Group, indicating waning Western influence in the region. Number 4. Wagner Group Fights Russian Army Following over a year of fighting in Ukraine, in late June, fighters from the mercenary organization Wagner Group turned on their Russian benefactors and started fighting their way towards the capital of Moscow. This came after an increasingly tense feud between Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin and the Russian government over the handling of the invasion of Ukraine, culminating in Prigozhin starting to capture key Russian military installations between where they were based, just east of Ukraine, and Moscow, straight north of their location, leading to open fighting between the Wagner Group and Russian military, with many noting this as a severe moment of weakness for Russian President Vladimir Putin as he called this an armed mutiny, and accused Prigozhin of treason. Shortly after the incident started, it ended as Belarusian President Lukashenko announced that he had brokered a peace between Prigozhin and Russia, allowing those involved in the rebellion to leave Russia for Belarus, as well as letting those Wagner members not involved in the rebellion to still fight for Russia and Ukraine. Two months later, in mid to late August, Prigozhin would end up dying in a plane crash in Belarus with official Russian channels claiming it was an accident caused by hand grenades detonating in the plane, rejecting claims that it was orchestrated by the Russian government to purposely kill the Wagner chief. Number 3. Donald Trump on Trial Over the course of 2023, the US has seen an unprecedented move to bring charges against former President Donald Trump for a variety of reasons across four different cases alleging federal election interference, Georgia election interference, the illegal taking of classified documents to Mar-a-Lago, and the paying of hush money through illegal means to keep a sex scandal with Stormy Daniels quiet. All four of these criminal cases have resulted in Trump's indictment, with further civil cases involving the alleged defamation of E. Jean Carroll, who accused Trump of raping her and later defaming her, as well as potential fraud in the state of New York. A new legal battle is also brewing as two states, Colorado and Maine, have determined that Trump is ineligible to be on the state's primary ballots in 2024 after their respective courts determined he violated the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment, Section 3, prohibiting those who engaged in insurrection to hold public office. There were also additional cases against Trump allies, such as Rudy Giuliani, which saw him being ordered to pay $148 million after the court found he had defamed two Georgia election workers following the 2020 election. 2024 is going to see significant legal battles as Trump attempts to clear his name ahead of the 2024 primary, of which he has stayed the clear frontrunner ahead of all other Republican candidates. Number 2. Artificial Intelligence Makes Leaps and Bounds One of the biggest leaps in technology we saw through 2023 was that of AI particularly GPT-4, the newest and most advanced learning model behind ChatGPT to come out in 2023. This has led to increasing discussions about both the efficacy and morality of using AI to replace certain jobs as top figures in the industry call for a moratorium on further AI development. Though many have used AI, whether it was ChatGPT or any other learning model merely for fun or making YouTube videos, the implications are being described as rather dire by many, particularly in creative fields, which was a large cause of the Hollywood strikes that occurred throughout much of 2023. Many nations had already been looking to severely regulate AI usage, though this was kicked into high gear as the popularization of ChatGPT indicated many of the potential dangers that exist if AI is left to grow in its use unabated, such as automating away jobs or spreading significant amounts of disinformation. Another year comes and goes. As with any of these lists, there is far too much that happened in the last year for me to realistically be able to cover it all and say for sure what is more historically moving than something else. What might seem insignificant today could be major news tomorrow. But 
without further ado, let's move on to number one, 2023 Gaza Crisis. On October 7th, 2023, 1,200 people were killed after a Hamas attack in Israel, leading to an Israeli counterattack and ultimately one of the deadliest phases of the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine. Though many Western nations initially supported Israel and still do to a large extent, there has been widespread and growing condemnation of Israel's scale of attack as the Palestinian death toll passed 20,000 in less than three months of Israeli bombings and attacks on Gaza which is home to 2.3 million Palestinians, 90% of which have been forcibly uprooted. Protests, both in support of and against Israel, have swept much of the world, though as time goes on, support for Israel waned and protests arguing for an end to the violence and liberation of Palestine grew in size and scope, especially as hospitals and refugee camps have been hit by the Israeli Defense Forces as alleged Hamas hideouts causing untold death and destruction. Palestinians in Gaza have also found themselves facing a catastrophic humanitarian crisis as dire needs for food, water, fuel, medicine, sanitation, and even shelter continue to grow for the nearly 2 million people being affected in Gaza by the fighting. The UN, though not able to take decisive action, has shown general support for Palestine, with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres saying that Palestinians have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation, describing Israel's bombing of civilian targets as collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Despite these words, the fighting seems to be continuing as Israel continues its attacks into Gaza, saying they are attempting to completely rid the area of Hamas, which they, along with many Western nations, designate a terrorist organization. If something happened this past year that you feel was significant, feel free to let me know. There's only so much I can cover despite my best efforts to look as broadly as possible. So I'd love to hear what might have happened that I either didn't hear about or that I did hear about but you felt could or should have made it onto the list. Here's to a new year. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on to see more of my content. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this video or topics for the future, and if you're interested, I have also made plenty of other videos, so go check those out too. This has been Historical Hindsight, and I'll be seeing you soon.